Hi Descendants, Sloop Gaming here with an info bomb from the first Descendant. TFD beta players have already expressed their concerns with the possibility of content woes post-launch, as well as with the specter of gross monetization from this free-to-play game. However, recent news via Reddit from a French video by Altice, which featured a screenshot of a TFD roadmap, has been authenticated by an employee of Pressplay. Apparently, the media outlet Pressplay provided Altice an interview with TFD devs, and this information was provided. The roadmap also highlights the introduction of a new Descendant coming with an early August update and future new Descendants dropping each season. The recent info bomb hits even harder with TFD's cash shop monetization pricing being revealed via Steam, or more specifically, from SteamDB.info. But before we dive into what lies ahead on the first Descendant roadmap and check out the game's cash shop pricing, if you are hyped for the first Descendant content and enjoy playing looter shooter MMORPGs, then be sure to like, share, and comment your thoughts. Also consider subscribing and keeping notifications on for the latest TFD updates and gameplay. FYI, I also stream daily on both YouTube and Twitch and would love to see you in chat. I say this on stream all the time, but I'm not just here to play video games. My live streams are here to engage the TFD and overall gaming community. It's always fun in chat, so please let your voice be heard and let's level up together. And speaking of live streams, Twitch viewers can earn Twitch drops starting on launch day, July 2nd. Okay, so let's get a feel for this info bomb. Also, links for all information shared will be in the video's description. Looking at the roadmap, to be honest, why would the devs give this individual and media outlet such exclusivity when they have been globally transparent with press releases since beta? Any thoughts? Be sure to drop them in the comments below. So the roadmap revealed from the video shows in column one, the global launch starting July 2nd, followed with an early August update, new descendant Luna, also, new Colossus Gluttony, new Ultimate Valby Edition, a new Ultimate Weapon, as well as a new skin. Moving on to Season 1, uh, which will begin in late August, we'll have three subsequent updates, Update 1, 2, and 3. Season 1 episode is being labeled as Invasion, coupled with Season Progress and Field Completion. There will also be a new Descendant and Descendant Story, new Colossus and Dungeon, new weapon, new skin, and new ultimate descendant. And lastly, it shows season two beginning in early December with three subsequent updates. Season two episode will be labeled Ancestor, featuring a new mega dungeon, utility companion, season progress, new descendant and descendant story, new Colossus and dungeon, a new weapon, new skin, and new ultimate descendant. Overall, it appears that developers at Nexon are tracking how Bungie has presented Destiny 2 with seasonal content and its associated roadmap. TFD even uses the word episodes for its seasonal model. Now, I believe all this is subject to change until Nexon releases this information officially. The same can also be said of TFD's cash shop pricing revealed via SteamDB website. The first descendant uses a currency called Caliber, similar to how Warframe uses Platinum and Destiny Silver. Caliber pricing as of this video upload, according to SteamDB, is 250 caliber equals $4.99 USD. Again, all these prices will be in US dollars. 500 caliber plus 20, which is a 4% bonus, 999. 1000 caliber plus 60, which is a 6% bonus, 1999. 2500 plus 250 caliber, a 10% bonus, 4999. 3500 plus 420, a 12% bonus for 6999. And 5000 plus 750 caliber for a 15% bonus for just 99.99. How do these prices compare with their AAA competitors from Digital Extremes Warframe and Bungie's Destiny 2? 
Let's take a look. Warframe pricing, 75 platinum is $4.99. 170 platinum is 9.99. 370 platinum, 19.99. 1,000 platinum plus a rare mod, 49.99. 2,100 platinum plus dual rare mods, 99.99. And 4,300 platinum plus triple rare mods, $199.99. And for silver from Destiny 2, 500 Destiny 2 silver, $4.99. 1,000 plus 100 bonus, $9.99. 1,500 plus 200 bonus, $14.99. 2,000 plus 300 bonus, $19.99. 3,000 plus 500 bonus, $29.99. 5,000 plus 1,000 bonus, $49.99. And 10,000 silver plus 2,000 bonus for $99.99. One for one, the First Descendants caliber currency clearly has Warframe's platinum beat with Destiny 2 Silver offering the best value above all. Now, the actual pricing of goods and services in-game tells a completely different story. Further, the value we as gamers bestow upon said goods and services is also a significant factor. During the final beta technical test for TFD, we had an opportunity to look at the battle pass and other bundle pricing using Caliber. I'm not diving into all of that here as everything is subject to change come launch, but for me personally, nothing seemed blatantly predatory upon the consumer. If something was noticed, or if you have information to the contrary, then please let us know in the comments below. Thanks. I also wanted to say that I don't have an issue with microtransactions, especially in regards to a free-to-play game like The First Ascendant. After all, the devs are supporting a business, and every business needs to generate revenue and hopefully turn a profit. When it comes to gaming, however, egregious pricing and items locked behind a paywall screams pay to win, or at the very least, pay to have fun. It doesn't appear this is the case with The First Ascendant, as Caliber is mostly used for cosmetic items, upgrading a free battle pass, or unlocking descendants. As of this video upload, nothing available inside the cash shop, aside from cosmetic items, is exclusive and cannot be earned simply by playing the game. Again, if you have any information contrary, then please let us know in the comments. Thank you for watching. Likes and shares are kindly appreciated, and subscribe for more content. Peace.